Hi, my name is Greg Holman, and I'm one of the software product managers here at Formlabs. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Preform 3.39.0 feature rundown. First, we're going to start off with Form 4 features like the cut mitigation feature and the snapshot feature, and then we're going to move to the fuse side and show you some improvements to the model properties list. So let's go. In scenes like this, where there's a cup, we've created a new feature where the printer will be able to slow down printing slightly to give you a better, higher reliability on prints with cups and a better surface finish. In some cases though, you'll want to improve the speed as opposed to the surface finish quality and you're willing to take a hit on slight reliability for the cups. So for those cases, the way you turn off the cup mitigation functionality is you go into the print settings editor down here in the edit menu and then you create a new print setting. And you'll need to go in here and select a Form 4. This is only available for the Form 4 and the Form 4B. So let's select Form 4. Uh, you'll need to select your resin. So in our case, we're using Fast Model, but you can select a different resin as well. And then you'll select the print settings that you want to use. So we're going to use the default 200 micron settings. So to access the setting for cut mitigation, we're going to go all the way to the bottom. You'll see it right down here. And you'll turn it off by toggling this. And before you click Save, I would always recommend you change the name. So I'm going to do Default Without Cup Mitigation. And then I'm going to click Save. So you see it here now. And let's use it in a job. So we'll go to the 200 microns. And boom, right here you can see the default without cup mitigation. And that's once again for cases where you want to prioritize speed over reliability and uh, surface finish. So you've probably seen the small camera uh, in the back left side of the printer. And what you can do with this camera is take a quick snapshot of the status of the printer. So you'll be able to go into the printer. So let's look at Creative Shark. It's actually the printer right over my shoulder here. And you can go into camera snapshot here and you can refresh it and see whatever's on the build platform. So I like to use this after a print finishes and I can see if there's any large failures, if something happened to the print that would make me uh, need to reprint. So uh, anything like uh, the part fell off the build platform, something like that. But it's also great in a multi-user print farm where you can see what the status of the printer is at any point. And you can just check in on it, see if anyone removed the print, uh, see if it's ready to be prepped and put to a ready state. Uh, it's a really neat functionality. Uh, we're excited to see how you guys use it. So on the Fuse side, we've received a lot of feedback that by only giving you guys two decimal points in the, the model, the amount of centered mass for a model uh, is not as useful as it could be. Uh, you guys would like to have down to the gram level. So what we did was we added another decimal point. If you go into Model Properties, you'll see there's now three decimal points getting you down to the gram level. So hopefully this is helpful while you guys are trying to estimate the, the mass of parts and really uh, understand how much you're printing and uh, how, how that affects your business and your bottom line. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we always like putting these features out to you guys, but I always like to note at the end of my videos that uh, you should use the feedback button down here. So click the feedback button, go through the survey, give us the feedback, and uh, that'll be what we wrap around into to features in the future. Uh, so we can serve you guys better and make your experience better in Preform. So don't forget to give feedback and looking forward to how you guys use this Preform release.